So I had an error recently that said, DC fast charging unavailable, service needed, AC charging is possible. And then it went away for uh, after a few seconds. So we're going to go into the secret menu today and have a look at what it is. And we do that by pressing this sign logo and type in the secret password to get into the secret service menu. Uh, now it is gone again, so, you know, service alerts, there are some service alerts, recent alerts. There's this one, rear defroster disabled, that's not the error, but I've had that before, and I had a service for that, and they re-enabled it, but it disabled itself again. Huh. Anyway, so sometimes a lot of mis miscellaneous errors that disappears once you have started up again. But I believe it is, the first one was this one. I was charging, I think, and I tried to disconnect the charger without having my phone in my pocket, so it wasn't, it wasn't locked and it came up with an error. I think that might be it. It might not be. The charge port electronics control unit detects unexpected voltage at the inlet harness identifier pin or is unable to identify the type of inlet harness. Uh, and then the set condition, what triggers the error is basically the same. Clear condition, um, charge port ECU is able to, su to successfully identify the char type of inlet harness. I think I was trying to unplug it there, but the next day, it's happened before, the next day while I was driving, this one came. DC fast charging unavailable. Okay to AC charge. Service required to restore DC fast charging. That is the usual text. Yeah, that is the one I got. And then you can see a description. DC fast charging is unavailable because the charge port electronic control unit has detected the high voltage back cover and or charge port AC charging connector are not present on the back of the charge port inlet. So what the hell is that? Does anyone know that? <laughs> Please let me know. The charge port ECU detects, detects uh, hard voltage back cover and or charge port AC charging connector are not present. And it was cleared again by the charge port ECU detects, detects high voltage back cover and AC charging connector are present. So I tested it an hour later and I was able to fast charge and I've been charging a lot because <laughs> DC charging, no, no, AC charging, I've been charging a lot because the um, electricity is basically free, free right now. So, so we can see a lot of interesting things here in the secret menu if you haven't already seen them. Right now I'm charging my car <laughs> so we can see the inlet and the temperature. High voltage battery, 20 degrees maximum, 19 minimum. PCS powertrain loop that must be something controlling the anyway we can see a lot of things that's not what this video is about I just think it's interesting and I'm charging my car slowly today because the electricity is free so well it's actually a bit negative so I have to charge the car unless I want to um, spend money sending sending electricity back to the grid from a solar panel so uh, I might have to go for a drive tonight to use a bit of electricity because it's the same deal again tomorrow, this Sunday. So, and I'm not driving enough. I'm not spending enough electricity. <laughs> I have too much free electricity right now. So anyway, this is not what the error is. I don't know about the other things. I have called Tesla and uh, they'll get back to me. I made an appointment on the app. They say something about they have to check something. They can do this at home here in my carport. So. If you're interested to know the outcome of that, let me know. I will certainly be excited to see that myself. <laughs> so anyway, that is what it looks like today. Uh, strange error. I better get it looked at before I'm going on vacation again this summer. So see you around. Cheers.